How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be learning with Splice. Splice is this awesome tool that allows us to create, collaborate, and share our tracks with each other in an online setting. Uh, pretty freaking awesome. So uh, this track in front of us, uh, how it is right now is uh, on Splice. So make sure to go down that, download that. If you haven't already, this is a carry on over from the last previous Ultra Beat tutorial. Uh, so go download that in the description below and we can start. Uh, so to kick it off, we're going to be uh, learning how to synthesize a kick drum here inside of Ultrabeat. So I'm going to select this kick track. I'm going to go to Ultrabeat, open that up. And now we're going to be working with this complicated interface that I said we weren't going to be playing with before. Uh, so I'm just going to give you kind of an overview of what this all means. Uh, so we have three different types of creation tools inside of uh, this view. We have an oscillator one at the top. We have oscillator two at the bottom, and we have a noise generator here in the middle. All three of these are being fed into a central filter, and then this filter is being fed into the output here. All right, and then we have an LFO section, kind of in this aqua teal at the top, and an envelope section and an aqua teal at the bottom. And we can modulate different parameters inside of this interface uh, with these LFOs and envelopes, which are pretty, which is pretty sweet. We're going to be touch touching on some envelopes, and we're going to be using oscillator one in this tutorial. So as you can see, this kick one that we have selected inside of the Adept machine is using a sample here in oscillator two. It is also generating some noise and using oscillator one. So to reset this, I'm gonna right click on it, go to init, sign. All right, I'm gonna rename it back to kick. All right, and then a little tip here, if you do command K, open up musical typing, select the right octave and then press A. You should be able to hear that uh, that sign that we just in initialized. All right, so the first thing off the bat is that that is super high. That's not a kick. So I'm going to be pitching it down a little bit. Uh, and as just note here that we are in uh, key of D major, so I'm going to be pitching it down to a low D, specifically D1. All right, there we are. All right, and then first thing we're going to do is to shape the sound of this oscillator. We can do that by going into the envelope section, selecting envelope four and playing with this envelope. So as you can see that playing with this, the length of it is shortening it, making it longer, uh, you, you know. So I'm gonna select zoom and then shape this to how I want it to make it sound more like a kick drum. All right, that sounds good to me. All right, next thing we're gonna do is modulate the pitch with another envelope. And so this is gonna give us kind of a sharp kick to, uh, uh, nah, no pun intended there, but we're gonna add a little bit sharpness to this kick. So I'm gonna to go to the modulation here uh, next to our pitch. I'm gonna select envelope one, pretty arbitrary. You could do one, two, or three. And then it opens up with this little, uh, little bar here on our pitch. Um, pitch um, dial here. So I'm going to grab that and pitch it up a few uh, octaves. I'm going to go to D5. All right, so you can see that it's pitching from high to low, and it's going to be shaped like this envelope. And so that's what that this is, where we move this up, it's going to be pitching from that uh, pitch down to the low pitch that we had created before. So now let's shape this a little bit. Mainly we want to shorten it up. All right, so that's sounding more like a kick drum that we want to have. So I'm going to shape this a little bit more. Make the tack a little bit longer. All right, and that's where we want to be. That's where I want to be. And so this has a lot of tonality, meaning that it is perfectly tuned to D. This is in the key of D and we tuned it to D. And so there are ways to reduce this tonality. You can use filters, you can use noise. Uh, there's many ways of doing that. I'm not gonna go over that in this tutorial. Uh, so we're gonna call this good. So what we wanna do next is normalize the volume of this sample with the rest of the samples. So you can tell that it's just very low here in general. So I'm gonna boost some of the volume here in oscillator one. Still needs to be up, going up a little bit, so I'm gonna increase the volume of the output. Maybe even a little bit more. All right, and I'm gonna call that good. So now if I exit, go to musical typing, and press play. All 
All right, we just synthesized our first kick drum here inside of Ultrabeat. And it sounds great in our song because we tuned it specifically to D, which is the key of our song. And that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Splice and uh, the, the, uh, the different projects there um, that you can go listen to and check out. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon.